In this video, you will discover the best growth hacks that will build a quality personal brand and will effectively enhance your LinkedIn outreach. Also, these tips can improve your online persona and will add value to your professional career. I'm going to share the best kept secrets of growth hackers and in the end of this video, I will give you an invite to our private group, so do not miss this opportunity. Hey, I'm Sharon from Expandi, the world's safest software for LinkedIn automation without getting noticed or banned. If you wish to turn your LinkedIn into a lead generated tool, be sure to subscribe for our weekly growth hacking tips and hit the bell so you won't miss the next episode. Let's admit it, we all want to build our personal brand and generate more leads on LinkedIn. This is extremely important because most of the corporations and recruiters do a thorough review of a candidate's personal profile and their communication style before hiring. If you are in the B2B space, you can count on customers and partners to do the same thing. So it's crucial that your personal brand is properly managed and has quality content as it is a presentation of who you are. So let me start with sharing some secret tips and growth hacks that will remarkably increase your LinkedIn outreach and help you create an attractive and unique personal brand. Let's dive into it right away. So how to start generating leads through LinkedIn? If you want to create your personal brand, it's not possible until you have more connections that will facilitate in your growing profile. But how can you start generating leads through LinkedIn? Here I will show you a few extremely easy steps to reach your targeted groups more efficiently. Let's take a look at all of these steps one by one. Find Facebook groups where your audience is located. You can easily find in which Facebook groups your audience is located. Here's what you need to do. Go to the Facebook group search bar and enter the relevant keywords. After that, select groups to filter the results. Find the Facebook groups that are relevant for your business and save the URLs of these groups. We will need this in a later stage. After this, make ideal customer profiles for high quality content. This probably isn't new to you, knowing your audience and where they hang out is the beginning of everything. In case you haven't heard of wire personas, make sure you read about it and create them for your own company. The following steps are pretty easy. You're going to want to upload uh, the LinkedIn group that you want right into Phantom Buster. So I've got up in this LinkedIn Growth Hackers group that I have on my Facebook and I also have Phantom Buster open here. Um, when I use Phantom Buster, I'm going to come to the Phantoms. I went to all categories and I uploaded Facebook. Now I want to go use this Phantom and it's going to bring me to this where I need to connect my Facebook. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this for myself. The way I've been doing it is coming onto Facebook. I have to right click and inspect. Then I'll go to applications. And it tells you exactly what you need, but for this section, you need to go to the C user, which is right here. I will take this, copy that, and paste it over here. And the next one you need is says XS. So if I come back to Facebook again, it's going to be this one. I can then copy that and paste it right in here. Once I save it, um, it's going to ask for the group URL. So I'll go back onto Facebook again, take the URL and paste it here. Then when I click save, it's going to ask me a couple of questions. It says if it's left empty, it's going to do as many as it can. And again, if it's left empty, it's going to do what it can. So I'm going to just click save. You can then have your settings. I want to do repeatedly once per day. Um, I'm going to leave this just standard as it is um, and click save. Now it's going to start. Um, it might take a couple of minutes, depending on how big the group is. Um, whenever it's finished, I'll be able to uh, download a full CSV that has all of the information that I need. The next step is to use Expandi to connect with these people. Unique content is important, but knowing that is one thing and doing it is an entirely different story. The danger of automation is it doesn't seem real anymore because people have seen it before. They've all got the same messages on their LinkedIn. Therefore, you should always try and find something that you have in common with them and then use that common aspect to start a conversation. The prospect is then more likely to accept your connection because it doesn't feel automated. It feels really personal. So to do this in Expandi, what you're going to want to do is click search, uh, new search. And in this case, we're going to import contacts from a CSV. 
today I'm just gonna say test YouTube one and then I will upload my CSV from my contacts so if I just drag and drop it directly in the software gives me the ability to then map all of the fields that I have in that CSV so all you need is the profile link if that's all you have then you can leave the rest blank but you can also use the rest of this information in your outreach so I have for example his job title his company name uh, his industry things like that but I'm just going to scroll through send it for processing and it should take a couple of minutes then you're going to want to create the campaign that you're going to add the search to so if I go campaigns I'm going to just click add campaign again I'm going to say YouTube um, I'm going to do a connector campaign in this case and it's just for me so if I cr click create campaign I can then write my messages hey I see you're in the same Facebook group as me let's connect I can then set up my follow-up messages and what I'll do is import the search directly in here so you might be wondering how does this why does this work how does this work there's a couple of reasons. One, you're hyper-targeting your audience and finding them in a really smart way. Two, you're sharing something in common with them, like being in the same Facebook group or whatever it is. And three, you're not trying to sell them anything, at least not right away. You're just trying to connect. You just have something in common with someone and you want to outreach them. You want to talk to them. And that's all. So hopefully this all made a lot of sense to you. You've made it to the end. If you want to grow your personal brand, just use this growth hack and you can get more connections and as a result, increase your LinkedIn outreach amazingly. Now, before you click off, we have one last surprise and I hope you enjoy gifts. Just click the links in the description below to get a seven day free trial of Expandly. In our next video, we will be dropping many more super cool tips and tricks you can always trust to get loads more leads and connections on LinkedIn.